My name is Jesse Serpan. I own Raw Iron Choppers out of Chardon, Ohio. Uh, the bike you see here is a 2014 SNS crate motor knucklehead. It's 93 inch. Uh, the frame is all one off built, especially a lot of the tubing work you see here. Um, this is all hand formed, obviously bent, uh, notch, literally fit and file, not even like it was done on a mill, lathe, all that good stuff. This is just all by, by hand and file, a little bit notching. Uh, a little bit of polishing, dug from Perfection Metal Polishing, you know, lustered a lot of this, brought it back to life. The pipes are one off. I think when I built this, the biggest thing was that I wanted all these tube-like structures. So from the neck down to here in the front motor mount, if you look down in here, you can see kind of like a Y, uh, curved tubes in the back, more bracing. So really for me is I wanted the motor mount to have the exhaust clear underneath the frame, kind of like an old pan knuckle style but uh, my own take on it. The premise of the bike was kind of to have a, a tough stance, kind of a real rough and tough rider, but also show quality. You know, something you would want to take to a show, you could definitely win, it'd be a good points bike. At the same time, like it's got dirt bike tires, it's got Pirelli scro uh, Scorpions. I'm not afraid to go rip, you know, and do, you know, peel outs and donuts whenever I got to with it. Um, so the bike's, the bike's, you know, really made to be ridden. It's all about the stance for me. The Springer is one off. It's the uh, first one I've ever built. So it's all out of DOM tubing, 3 16 wall, uh, one inch, uh, eighth inch uh, wall up here for the spring perch. So it's pretty cool, man. Uh, all internal. I usually never run an internal throttle. It was something I kind of wanted to do, just a little bit slim and clean. Uh, I always go with an EBC rotor, kind of for that uh, cool dirt bike look, kind of off-road. The color of the bike was kind of the idea of a coffin for like a vampire. You know, the outside of the coffin is uh, kind of like a satin black. The inside's always like a crushed red velvet or something, so it's kind of the idea. I want it with a, a real deep red wine style frame, something to pick that up. Mike at Valair Custom Painting did all the custom artwork on here, all the paint work. Uh, Steve did all the, from Lakeview Industries, did all of the powder coat you see here, the black and the burgundy. Doug did the polishing and perfection metal polishing. Everything else you see, we built in house, we built all, all of our own engines, uh, you know, that have to be refurbished, not from the ground up, uh, things like that. It does have a six-speed Baker drivetrain. It's all jockey shift, hydraulic foot clutch, which is pretty cool. Um, I wanted something kind of different, so the hydraulic foot clutch is definitely not the first time it's been done, but something clean. So it kind of hid that, but also wanted it to be seen. I didn't want it to be super hidden. Uh, simple jockey shifter, uh, six-speed. And this here is kind of off of my old bike, so I wanted to you know, cut that up. I changed it a little bit, but I kind of wanted that to bring onto this build, but it's something that's kind of lingering from the last build. So it's pretty cool. Kurt from Bare Bones Leather did all the leather work for me. Uh, literally knocked that seat out in about a day and a half. He is in extremely talented and extremely incredible with how he does his work. So as you kind of see here, man, that's you know kind of what I do in a nutshell is you know these bikes that are one-off, handcrafted. Uh, we built the bike in about four months. That's actually long for us, but we had a ton of issues come up. We almost didn't get the bike done. So where you see now is a finished product. I can't wait to ride it, and I thank Michael Lichter for having me here, and uh, the Buffalo Chip. Thank you.